body in this world has received salvation. Amen. Son, everybody is saved. Everybody has received the gift of righteousness. Amen. You believe that? You are advanced. John 3.16, the most common verse in this world, many don't understand. For God so loved the world, the church. No, the church. He so loved what? The world. That he did what? He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not what? Perish. But have what? Everlasting. It means what the unbelievers should do to unlock the treasures of the salvation God has given them is to believe in Jesus and to confess it with their mouth. Yeah. Hallelujah! Amen! I know some of you, your minds are blowing already. Now, if you are like the age of some of the people here, where they used to say everybody is going to hell and nobody who is qualified here on planet earth to receive salvation or grace, the gospel was destroyed. The gospel was, the gospel was pushed down. But the truth is this. Give your child an account. He does not know. You put money in every month. You are saving for the child. The child does not know. The truth is, the child has money in the bank. True or false? What? Why? Why is the child not enjoying the money? He does not know that that money is accredited to him. The world does not know that salvation has already been given and deposited in their spirit and that righteousness has already been given to them. All we need to do as Christians is show them that this is the provision God has made for us. Hello and welcome to another Sunday here at Kingdom Life Ministries. Wow, this Sunday has been amazing. It's blown my mind. I have been immensely blessed. Now what I've learned today is that I am righteous by faith and not by works. I'm so happy. I have here with me a guest that came in today. Tell us a little bit about what you learned about today's service. Yeah, I'm from Japan and Japan and uh, here and the way of the service is very different see and gospel is a very good great oh, and ideally i had a very very enjoyable time enjoyable today. time you enjoyed it she enjoyed the service and she was blessed wasn't yeah it? yeah wonderful thank you so thank much thank you so You're much welcome. Welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, okay yeah You're here with me Ackman. now today's service was amazing i don't know about you but i was immensely blessed tell us how you received today's service i think today's service was very very exciting one yeah and it brought a lot of revelation um regarding salvation mm -hmm. what I, revelation did you catch um a lot especially the area where um the bishop talked about uh, salvation being available to every believer, everyone everyone yes. including unbelievers right okay i think that was a very very important point fantastic yeah so what do you want to say to the people out there um all i want to say is that um, um just like the uh, like just like we said um salvation is given free of charge to everyone and therefore everyone is invited to receive that salvation and how do you receive that salvation it's by inviting jesus into your life you don't have to uh, uh, be of any tribe or to be of any any color or any creed but just believing in Jesus, that Jesus is the Son of God, Jesus died for your sin. And once you receive Jesus into life, then salvation is yours. Oh, it's wonderful. It's as simple as that. Simple, isn't it? That's very simple. Not simple. too hard to understand. Very simple. Wonderful. Very simple. Thank you so much. I'm simple so excited. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. I mean, I'm a Christian, mm -hmm. but also the people who are out there, mm -hmm. they've got access to what I am. All they need to do is just be ready to receive it. Tap into it, yeah. We're not under the law anymore. No. Nope. So we're free. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And if we're not under the law, what are we under? We're under the grace of God. Grace. Christ died for us. That's right. Uh, it's the church to be because you receive the word of God. 
undiluted. Mm -hmm. So this is the place where God is at work. Yes. Um, and God used our bishop mm -hmm. to give us food. The food is the word of God. Yeah. Very rich, very authentic, very organic. It's not mixed with anything. Mm -hmm. So it just gets the revelation from God and give it to us. And that helps us to grow. I've heard it from people that have spoken. Today's service was on another level. The Romans, the chapter of 9, the highlight of the message was when we were told in the scriptures, in the Bible, that righteousness is gained by faith. It is not by your works. It is not what you do that makes you righteous, but it is your faith that makes you righteous. And the fact is, the fact is, salvation is given to everybody, including unbelievers. And so the only thing that they need out there is for somebody to go and tell them the gospel of Jesus Christ so that they will lift their hands up and accept Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. This is the knowledge that our bishop impacted into us today. And we as Kingdom Life Ministry members, as I always say, we are confident enough and we are bold enough, we are ready to go out there as the Bible tells us that we should go out there and preach the gospel to the, to the nations. And so KLM members, both young and old, we are empowered enough, we believe from today's sermon, that we are qualified and strong enough to go out there and bring in laborers. Because the Bible says the harvest is plentiful, but laborers are few. So it is up to us as believers who have been empowered and are working on, on righteousness to go out there and bring in the laborers to expand the kingdom of God. Now, don't forget, we want to remind you that we're going to have a youth conference theme, Youngsters on Fire. This is a conference that is being set aside, not just for young people, but the old as well. If your fire for God has died as an old person, this is the conference for you to be in. If your fire for God as a young person has not been ignited, this is the conference that you have to be in as a young person so you understand your kingdom rights as a, as, a, as a believer so when you walk out there you can practice and you can walk on that authority and power that God has given you so you see what the youngsters of kingdom life ministers have got to tell you remember we have our weekday services Tuesday we have a Jericho our power park place from 10 30 to 12 30 p.m. on Fridays we have prophetic encounter service from 7 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. and of course our Sunday miracle crusade and morning glory morning glory is from 9 a.m. and miracle crusade it's from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. You, you don't want to be you don't want to be a dropout. Come and join the Grace Academy in Kingdom Life Ministries. This is where you are taught nothing but the Word of God, and that's all we need as believers. Youngsters of fire, to the highest degree. Youngsters of fire, to the highest degree. Youngsters of fire, to the highest degree. For the upcoming program, wow. Youngsters on Fire, yeah. it commences from the 26th of July up until the 28th of July. Mm -hmm. And honestly speaking, Onyeka, I don't know what you have to say about it, but I'm so excited. Yeah. It's going to be power packed. I mean, you don't want to be a dropout, trust me. Yeah. I agree with you. There's, there's a revival that's about to hit this nation. Oh, yeah. And you don't, you, don't want to be, you don't want to be a spectator, you, you want to be a partaker. Yeah. There's yeah. something that's about to... Uh, spring forth yeah. and i'm telling you if you be a partaker of this program i can assure you your life can remain the same yeah. Yeah. So don't miss it don't be a dropout yeah. I, I i invite everyone to come to this program it's going to be powerful the power of god is going to move jesus everyone's going to be touched in the name yeah. of jesus christ oh, yeah. the youth shall take over amen, amen. Yeah. don't miss this for all the rice in china yeah. Be here. Yeah. 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 don't miss out as young as you feel, mm, wow. youngsters on fire! This youth conference will be taking place right here at Kingdom Life Ministries, 117 Bruce Grove, N17 6UR. See you!